Hello and welcome to another weekend project from Make Magazine. I'm Kip K. What happens when you combine a motion detector floodlight and a webcam? Well, I'm going to show you as together we build an animal detector on today's weekend project. <laughs> You can find the Animal Detector Project in Make Volume 17, and it's by Bob Goldstein. The first thing you'll need is a motion-activated security light. Now, any one will do. This is a dual lamp one, which is better because it provides more light. And we need to put it in something, so I chose a plastic milk crate because it seemed like it was perfect for using outdoors. This yellow color wasn't going to cut it, so I wanted to paint it, and I decided to paint it camouflage colors. Choosing a darker color first as the base coat, I painted the entire milk crate, and then learned a technique from my geocaching days about using a leaf and painting it with another color, and that kind of gives it a camo effect. The camouflaged milk crate is finished. Now, it didn't have to be camouflaged. Black would do just fine, but I like painting things camo, so that's what I decided to do. Then I cut out a piece of half-inch plywood the size of one side of the milk crate and made sure it fit in there, then drilled four small holes in the corner of the milk crate. These would be the holes that would hold the piece of wood in place. I painted the piece of wood the dark brown color and also drilled a hole right in the center. This is where our power cable will go. To wire the floodlights, I used a standard power cord and clipped off the other end and stripped those ends and ran that through the piece of wood, tied a knot in the cord so it wouldn't pull through, and then made my connections with my floodlight using the wire nuts that came with it. Then I attached the floodlight to the piece of wood using some screws, and I also decided to use some silicone to fill in the hole where the cord goes just to prevent any water from coming down into the fixture in case it rains. Then I ran the cord up through the milk crate and put my piece of wood in place and attached the piece of wood to the milk crate using some stainless steel screws. Again, just in case it rained, I didn't want to have rusty screws in there. The housing for the motion detecting floodlights is finished, and I cranked the sensitivity way up to make sure that these lights would come on no matter what crossed their path. The last element for this project is some motion detection software. Now, in the article, Bob used some software for a Mac. Well, I don't have a Mac, I have a PC, but I discovered that my Logitech 9000 webcam, the software that came with it, has motion detection built into it, and it works pretty well, and it's fully adjustable. So you can see here it's building video files along the bottom here of my cat, and the movement of my cat here. So it's going to work perfectly for our project. Now what I'll do is I'll take the webcam and you can mount it either on a window facing the area that you're going to capture your animal activity or in my case I just went ahead and ran a couple of USB jumper cables out to the box itself and we're going to see if we can get some animal detection. After adjusting the sensitivity to the motion detection software it worked great and actually picked up our little puppy walking around in the backyard. The motion detection lights came on and the webcam recorded and also you can see me here placing the bait which was some cat food right in the camera's eye view. Unfortunately overnight not a single animal came to eat the cat food. Not sure why, maybe it's because we live in the suburbs, but if you'd like to see some great footage from the author of this project, go to Bob's blog, the web address is right here, and check out some footage that he shot using the animal detector. I'm Kip K. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.